Now, ancient artifacts belonging to Egypt's King Tut are being restored. The items, including clothing, toys and furniture, will be displayed at the Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza, Egypt, and now under construction. It is slated to open later this year, four years ahead of uh, schedule. Here's VOA's correspondent, Miriam Diallo. It shouldn't be surprising that the boy king who ruled Egypt for 10 years until his death at 19 had a toy collection. Here we have a swan which is shaped like a plate. It's like the spinner toy that we used to have in the old days. This toy rotates and has a colorful effect because of the decoration on the spinner. We also have the bird and finally the swan and below it we can see the eggs. Other royal belongings being restored include pieces of fabric that have been stored at the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir Square since 1933. It has remained inside the storage rooms until 2013 when we started transporting the pieces from the storage rooms to the restoration center in order to prepare them for display for the first time in the Grand Egyptian Museum. Artifacts from the so-called Golden King's tomb were discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. Most were made of gold or contained plated layers of the precious metal. His tomb is the only tomb to be discovered completely and fully intact. It has a wide range of different ancient pieces, fabrics and ancient substances that show a clearly advanced method of craftsmanship and technology in pharaonic Egypt. King Tut's priceless possessions will be on public display when part of the Grand Egyptian Museum opens later this year. Mariam Adjalou, VOA News.